Hello and thank you for joining me again on Ladies in Tech. This video is going to be on the Count Up Instruction in RS Logix 500. This here is a little wiring diagram of the system that I've connected here to demonstrate this instruction. Um, here's our Micro Logix 1100 and I've uh, drawn in here some of the inputs and the voltage and all that stuff. So here we have two sourcing inputs. We have a black normally closed push button located at input zero. We have a normally green, uh, normally open green push button wired into input one. And we have an output green light wired into output one and an output for the red light at output zero. So let's move on to uh, the actual programming and I'll show you how we can use them. So I got the five um, RS Logix 500 open up here and we're going to begin entering in some logic here to demonstrate the up counter. So of course, like always, we can never write any logic on end run. So I'm going to go to my user, I'm going to add first rung. And our counters are located under the tab for timer and counter. And there it is, the CTU. So I can either bring it in here until it goes green or I could simply just double click on it. Uh, actually, you can see I more than double clicked on it there and enter in our counter. So our counter or the storage location for the data files for our counter are C5. So I'm going to uh, start doing that. So C5 colon, we'll do one and I'm going to give it a name. I'm going to say count five. That's how many I'm going to make it count. So that's what we'll give it for a name. So it's called count five. And I'm going to put a preset value in here as 5. Our accumulated is 0. So now I'm going to put logic in front of this counter to enable it to count. So we've got to remember when each time a false to true transition logic in front of a counter happens, that is when it's going to count. So I'm just going to put one of our push buttons. So from the schematic I showed you, we have some push buttons wired up to the PLC. And the one that I'm going to put in here is our normally open green. So I colon um, zero slash one is the location for that green push button. And you can see that it came it already came pre-populated um, with the name of the green push button on there from an old program. So every time that this green push button is pressed, so it would go from false because it's normally open and I press it, it would go true. So high, this counter should count and should not count again until I let go of that push button. So we'll download that right now into our controller. Am I okay? And yes. Okay, so you can see right now the green push button is um, low. There's no green there, but when I press it, it goes high and the accumulated value increments up by one. And even though I keep the green push button pressed, it only increments by one. So it will not count again unless I let go of that push button so it goes false. And then if I press it again, it will count again. And you can see that when I let go, the accumulated value is retained. So it is retentive. With that being said, um, I'm going to go back on now. We're going to add more logic in and we're going to uh, use some of the bits that are used in a counter. So with the count up, we can use the CU bit, we can use the done bit, and the OV bit. So I'm going to add that logic. So the next rung, I'm going to put another rung in here. Oops, sorry. i got to make sure I'm on the page. Put a rung in here, and I'm going to use our done bit. And that's the most common one we're going to use most of the time because we want something to happen when something's usually done done counting. So it's C5 colon one, right? I gotta make sure I got the same address here. And I wanna address the done bit. And there we go. And you can see here, it even took on the same name. And when that happens, let's turn on a light. And we're gonna go to O colon zero slash one, which is our green light. And okay. All right, so we're gonna download that back in. So it's gonna be a short minute and I'll get it in there. All right, so I got the program re-downloaded in and you can see here that we are green on either side. So we are in run mode. So I'm going to proceed to press the green push button. The accumulated value, it just 
anchor or uh, went up by one, two, three, four, five, and your green light is on. Value, it just anchor or uh, went up by one, two, three, four, five, and your green light is on. But now that it's done, it will keep counting. It will keep counting. There is no way to All reset right, I'm going to enter in that runner logic now so that we can reset the counter. So uh, we're going to put a new rung in under timer and counter. We've got the reset command. It's located on the same tab. And we need to address what we need to reset. So C5 colon 1 will be reset. And it's going to be reset when I press the normally closed black push button. So I only have to use my examiner to open because it is a normally closed push button. And it is located I colon zero slash zero. Give it a name. PB black. And I'm going to say it's normally closed. Normally closed. And we go, okay. All right, so let's download this in. All right, we're in run mode, so let's see this work. We're going to have that counter count up to five. When it's done, the green light comes on, and it keeps counting up. So we have to reset it, and we're going to press the black push button, and it's going to reset, and it goes back. So I'm going to show you with the hardware what that looks like now. So here's the hardware here. We got the program downloaded in. So we press the green push button five times. The light comes on. And I have to push the black button in order to reset it. So one, two, three, four, five, and I reset. So that's okay, the hardware. So there. now let's demonstrate using the uh, the count up bit. We'll download that so you can see how that works. So with the count up, it will be true anytime the green push button is pressed because anytime that counter is counting up, whatever that logic is, whenever it's true in front of it, the count up bit will be true. Okay, and it will be true all the way up even when it's done it's always true whenever that logic is true so let's go offline and one more thing I'm going to show you is the overflow so OV I'll show you the OV not the CV I'm going to go okay so this is an overflow so I'm going to help this out a little bit in overflow we know it's 32,767 so I'm going to download accumulated value in there so that we don't have to hit it that many times um, let's do 64. We're going to go okay. So I'm actually downloading amount into that cumulated value. And we're going to download that. And you can see um, it's done at this point. OV is not on though because um, it's not into over overflow yet because it hasn't reached the 30 32,766. But it is over five, so that's why it's done. But I'm gonna push it a couple more times to make it go over, and there we go. The green light is on at that number. You can see it wraps around, and it's gonna continue counting up from now that negative side. You can see the wrap that it goes around there. Okay, so that's how the OV bit works. And of course, we want to reset it to zero. We push the black push button and it goes back to zero. So that's my quick little tutorial on your count up. Um, the next video I'm going to do is going to be on your countdown. So make sure you subscribe so you don't miss out. And you can keep up on all these little tutorials on RS Logics 500. Thank you for joining me.